our main form of manufacturing was rolling tubes uh, and we're now onto more composite fabrication and, and vacuum bagging and things that my grandfather never knew how to do, I don't think, and nor did my father or uncle. We've sort of taken a bit of a decision to, to try and um, work with or, or chase the more high-tech, specialised, uh, high-end business, whether it's a sport or industry or recreation or um, technology, you call it what you like, because we have to move away from competing with mass market China and, and those sort of operators because we'll never win that battle. Could be a school racing team. Rowing oars, uh, a lot of bits for yachting. The bloke cart, which is the little, it's like a windsurfer on wheels. Uh, grandfather John Wells um, basically acquired a small little fishing business back in the 30s, which he moved down to Rotorua, and that was just a, a fishing tackle retail store. At the time, he was from the UK and started importing product from the UK to sell here. Um, and it sort of grew from there and then got into a little bit of manufacturing um, through the 50s and 60s and then set up the factory as, as we've seen here um, in the late 60s. And then around that time, the retailing stopped and it was became a, a, a proper manufacturer and wholesale distributor. A great number of, of long-term staff as well. We have a a board of some very long service staff, 40 years, 30 years, I think the longest was 50, but that might, be, might have been dad. But <laughs> so this is part of the Hemo sculpture, this is uh, one of the outside quarters of the um, sculpture that goes up. laid down at the moment so we can work on it, but eventually that will lift up like this. We're not a startup company, we're not starting from scratch. Um, so a lot of the groundwork and, and those sort of things has been done, but at the same time, I guess there's always this, uh, I wouldn't call it stress and pressure, but this um, 85 year old company um, hanging around us that we kind of feel obliged to, to look after that we keep it running um, and keep it moving forward. So, yeah, um, I'd love to be able to hand it on to the fourth generation. And it's not, not just ourselves we're looking after, we're looking after a bit of a family legacy and, and heritage, and then there's a couple of, you know, another generation sitting around uh, possibly wondering uh, what they're gonna get out of it too. So, yeah, 